Howdy. Hope everybody is doing good. Uh, I was driving along and had some lights pop up on my Sprinter here. And uh, I'm not real sure what's going on. But luck happens. I was contacted by uh, this company not too long ago about checking out their uh, eDiag unit here. I guess it works with a uh, phone app. I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. And I uh, hadn't got a chance to try it. I was going to take it back to the shop and try it on the bench. You know, like when I do my repairs, I was just going to try it with the uh, live data and stuff like that. But uh, I had it in my van here. And uh, perfect timing because now I'm going to get a chance to actually see how it works. And to see if it works on my Sprinter because my Sprinter doesn't have a... You know, it's not an easy system to read. It's a little bit more to it than uh, a lot of other things. So let's uh, get it open and see how it does. See if I can't get these lights going or at least see what's going on with them. Alright, first thing I want to do is download the application for it here. There we go. Um, it is the EDIAG. I'm going to go ahead and install it. So I've got it downloaded here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I haven't unboxed the uh, device yet, but let me see what the app looks like real quick. I'm not sure what kind of connection it has. I would assume Bluetooth. Yeah, I see a little Bluetooth thing there. Uh, so OBD functions, maintenance, system diagnostics, I don't know what the little card is for. Collect the data, allow, okay. Uh, allow, okay. So I have to create a um, login. I haven't done that yet. Let's, All right, let's so let's try to get this guy open and take a look. Open up from the back here. Maybe I can push it out. Packed in there pretty tight. All right. So there is our device. Looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got an instruction book in here. I've got a couple of instruction books. So that's got the serial number on there and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. Let's just see if we can wing it. So I'm going to pull it out here. Take a look at it. Oops. You know, it's built pretty nice. Let's go ahead and plug it in here. I like the LED ring there. Okay, so now that we have it in there, now I will say I had cut my car off and cut it back on and most of the lights went away, but now I have <coughs> check engine light, so thankfully we'll be able to see what that's about. Let's see about yeah. connecting here. So I'm going to open up the software and make sure I got my Bluetooth on. I do not. Let's turn the Bluetooth on. Okay. Uh, I see how easy this is going to be to use. So I guess I have to do an account sign up first. I was hoping it would let me just go in and do it without it, but I guess not. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to come back. Right, so I am fully registered here. Let's uh, activate, and to do that, I have to get the serial number off of the manual, and it also has the activation code on there, so that little book I pulled out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, so I am registered completely. My device is registered. My username is registered. Um, now it wants me to update the software. So 
says I'm using Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure how much of this needs to happen or you know what's going on. Right now it says it's scanning for Bluetooth. We found the Bluetooth there, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit pair. I see the uh, Bluetooth is actually your um, serial number. All right, so now I am connected. Um, and uh, I got my truck off key on. I'm gonna go ahead and do all system diagnostic. The call, let's see, let's just enter in. Let's enter in by vent. Cause I have my vent right here. I was kinda thinking it would read it for me. Maybe it will read it for me. Uh, let's, let's not do that yet. Let's check like this. Let's check it just uh, by vehicle. Uh, what the hell? All right, so I have my account made, I have the device registered, I have the Bluetooth connected, and a uh, really nice thing, the OBD uh, dongle light turned from green to blue to show that we are connected. Uh, let's go ahead, let's try this all system diagnosis. Uh, now I do have the engine off, but I have the key on. Software purchase, so this is stuff that it's given me. I don't know if there's, you know, later on if there's any upgrades or whatnot. Let's see. Let's do uh, Mercedes. So I don't see where it's got like an auto VIN read. Uh, I hit this. I hit that VIN decoding earlier. And for whatever reason, it was trying to make me download something else. And I don't have time right now I'm, I'm out in uh out on a job using my uh, wi-fi from my phone so let's see if this has sprinter there's sprinter so i'm gonna oh i have to download sprinter so this has a lot of stuff already downloaded and it looks like it has a lot of european stuff downloaded I don't I don't want to download this one it looks like it's trying to download everything so you know what I'm gonna let this download for a while even though I, I hate to download everything stuff that I don't need but uh, let me let this all download and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll finish the video all right so I got the sprinter downloaded here I'm gonna download the rest later um, but right now, let's go ahead and log into my Sprinter. Let me actually cut it off because I got it running right now. Okay, so engine off, key is on. Let's go ahead and go into Sprinter. And let's see what we're gonna find. I see the little LED has turned blue again. I like that feature. I love when uh, you know devices have indicators for me. Also nice that it's got the light, maybe keep keep you from forgetting it. So let's uh, manually select Sprinter. Ah, uh, let's see, what is mine? Uh, mine is a 906. It's a diesel, left hand, automatic. Let's let's do a health report. Switch ignition on. That is good. So uh, this might take a little while, which it doesn't surprise me. Mercedes uh, always scans pretty slow. It's actually going pretty fast. Uh, Cause I use um, I use Autel quite often, and I use uh, Century, the actual Mercedes tool. 
and it, it takes a while to get loaded into the system so this one's actually flying through it here which is uh, nice when you just want to check codes and it's pulling up most of the systems I'm just kind of monitoring it as it's pulling them up and it, it's pulling them all up I'm a little bit surprised I, I was uh, doubting its function from just from the price of it I was kind of doubting doubting the function of it but um so far it's pulling up all the systems so any small mechanic that needs a code scanner that can scan all systems like a lot of little junky ones from uh, AutoZone and stuff like that they only pull up emission codes from the engine controller which are you know it's pretty much worthless but you see this one pulled up everything and I, I went into my engine here first I said it's reading the coding data too so there may be a lot of things you can do yeah, it's got coding, special functions, read fault code. Let's just read the fault codes right now. For the reference voltage, so malfunction, so temperature, malfunction, the fuel funnel, relay 87 has shut off too early. So these are all stored, no big deal. I'm going to leave them there. Uh, let's check into the special functions. Special treatment. Okay, now I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. We might do that on something else. Um, let's back out of here. So none of those codes are what caused the ABS to come on. To find the ABS, we have to actually go into the ABS module. So let's see here. We have ECM, transmission. Uh, let's check the ESP because that light could come on from the ESP as well. Man, I have a lot of a lot of codes on my van here. The stability problem, faulty supply voltage signal from the okay. So it looks like the speed sensor from the uh, right front. Oh, this is from both both uh, axles actually. I don't know what these numbers are. I don't know what those are for. It's not the normal code, I don't think. Could be for Mercedes. I'm not real familiar with Mercedes. Uh, let's see what else we got. So it did look like it pulled up all the modules, which is nice. So I'm going to hit clear DTCs because none of that is really important. Uh, I've seen those pop up often uh, from the th thing just sitting overheating uh, they usually will come and go I think it's just uh, losing its signal or something alright so now it's clearing everything everything is cleared and I'm good to go. Nothing uh, too concerning there. So thankfully my van is uh, in good shape there. Uh, something come back. Uh, yeah, I got a brake sensor open and a, a light out. So that's, we're just going to ignore that stuff. So yeah. Wow, I'm actually, uh, I'm really surprised that it pulled up everything, to tell you the truth. I didn't think it would. 